That's some great music we got going there. Hey, Kentucky, welcome back. It's time for a new game of Do We Care? P-Rats is here. Now, I've been told, Lee, don't let you step in front of the P-Rats. I do this a lot when I get angry He's, with you. I you're stand always over here. getting all up in the ats. Don't, don't do get that. Don't the ats. All right. Please, we got to make sure to keep them happy. How are you, Kevin McGuffey? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me well, back. Let's get started. All right. Alec Baldwin not only repeated his President Trump impression on SNL this week, he also debuted his portrayal of Bill O'Reilly. Matt and Lee, do we care? I care because I thought his O'Reilly was pretty good. He kind of looks like him. Uh, I don't blame Baldwin for my problems with the skit. He does a good Trump. So, yes, I do care. I like impersonations. I think his Trump is one of the better ones we've had in a while. I don't care, for crying out loud. I mean, it's all part of the same political agenda <laughs> SNL has had since this I mean, I uh, election. I Mr. Comedy Guy. Like, you like all the kind, everybody's funny, Mr. Yup, Yup, oh, Yup, When did I ever say that? Listen, SNL irritated me when they did that. I've told you this before. That tribute yeah, you didn't where like they sang where to serve with love. There was no jokes. There was no punchline. It was sacrilege on the stage of Lauren Michaels Look at this. Creed. I love it. We, I care. Did What's I get next? it from the P-Rats? Sorry. <laughs> Speaking of impressions, actor Christian Bale is reportedly lined up to play former Vice President Dick Cheney in a new movie. Matt and Lee, do we care about this casting news? I care because how is that possible? Christian Bale is like supposedly one of the most handsome dudes in him. How does he play Dick Cheney? Dick Cheney is 30 years older than him, bald, fat. I, I, I Actually, I care just because I want to see it. How is that possible? I don't care. What could be exciting about this anyway? But, uh, you know, he can do this. Remember, he was in that movie, what was it called, The Mechanic or but something? But he got skinny for that one, right. The Machinist. Yeah. The Machinist, that's the machinist. what it was, yes. The Machinist. I, I think the Dick Cheney story is good, especially the part where he shoots his friend in the face. That's the part I want to see. It's a comedy. See. Do you remember that? He just actually just, yeah, it's an something I should do to you sometime. We go hunting and just, <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't yeah, we'll mean see to. About that. I do want to see that part. What's next? In a strange tryst from politics, the star of HBO's Veep, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, says she was approached by top Democrats to run for office but told them no. Guys, do we care about this? I actually don't care about this, even though I like Julie Louise Dreyfus a lot. I am living proof that the Democrats will approach anyone to come and run for office. They, they approached me, so that just goes to show you they will uh, do it for anybody. So no, I don't care, although I love Veep, and it's coming back soon, and it's the best show on television. I don't care. What? I mean, do you I care about I, anything? No, I don't care. Why? Why, I mean, why is this a, a what has she done other than an actor? She seems like a, a perfectly nice lady, but I guess you could say the same about Ronald yeah, Reagan. You could say the same about Ronald Reagan, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sonny Bono, Al Franken, Donald Trump. I mean, yeah. you could say about all of them. I still don't care. <laughs> you know, you were approached to run for office, too. What if that's, run, that's how bad it is. What if we had run against each other? That oh, that would have been, been great. That's yeah. right. They always vote for the tallest person. What's no, next? they don't. <laughs> We're learning more about the allegations that led to the Coastal Carolina cheerleading program being suspended. Investigators say the girls were paid up to $1,500 to be escorts, but not prostitutes. Do we care about this update? I care. I love this story. They apparently were on SugarDaddies.com, which is a site <laughs> I didn't know existed, but I guess we're going to have to bookmark soon. Uh, and they were on there. They say they didn't do any sexual acts. It was just companionship. I'm all for companionship for older gentlemen, so I, I, I do care. Yeah, maybe I care a little bit about this, <laughs> but I don't know. Well, here's the thing, $1,500, yeah. but nothing extra. You gotta be lonely. Say. I mean, you gotta be lonely to pay $1,500 to go to like the Sizzler. Well, what I would like to say is if you are lonely and would like for me to go to the movies with you for 1500 bucks, I'll go. Kevin McGuffey will go for $200 with you somewhere, won't you, Kevin? Always get throw, throw, throw in dinner, I'm there. Let's go. What's next? New York is one step away from becoming the first state to offer tuition-free college to middle-class residents. Matt and Lee, do we care about this idea? I care because it's a good idea if your state can afford it. New York has got a budget surplus right now, so they're willing to do it. They, their argument is it pays off in the long run for the state to have an educated citizenry. If it works for the state, I'm for it. I think it's a good investment. Yes, I care. I don't care. I think it devalues education in some degree, though, don't you? So I you mean, don't think everyone should get an education? Well, no, I think if they want to pay for it, they should get it. I don't know that it should be offered But the argument free. is the taxes in New York are high enough that you are paying for it. So then why not let the money go to uh, the school? And what we've seen in New York, businesses flee New York so soon. Oh, there yeah, won't they, be a tax The last base time there. I checked, New York was just a terrible state. Like, they're not... They, they, in New York City seems to be barely hanging on, Lee. What's next? And last, one of Coach Cal's celebrity friends is apparently releasing a new line of Jordan 8s called the Calipari Pack. 
Matt and Lee, do we care about this new shoe line from Drake? Drake is a dork, but I do think these shoes are kind of cool. John Calipari has to be the only coach in America with shoes named after him, so I care. And I may even get some the Drake Cows. I'd like to say they look orthopedic to me. I'm not, maybe that's what Cal needs. I know he had hip surgery, so maybe this helps him get around a little bit. Those look orthopedic to you. They, to me, they do. They look like something you'd see over fancy, there at the Reno. They're fancy one. enough for you. Not for me, buddy. I like them. Go Drake, go Cal. Kevin McGuffey, <laughs> go you. $200 at SugarDaddies.com. We'll take a break <laughs> and be right back. This is A Kentucky.